Hi, I'm Dr. Shilpa. Welcome to this new episode where I'll be discussing about complications of uh, IVF. So, IVF uh, has come a long way since 1979 and uh, it has been proven to be a very successful uh, method for many couples who are childless and uh, they have been uh, able to conceive with this uh, technology of IVF. So the safety of this IVF has been proven multiple times uh, in these past couple of decades and it has come a long way from uh, uh, say like various uh, aspects as in uh, the safety of the injection safety of the procedure of egg pickup safety of uh, the embryo transfer and also the post procedure uh, care and everything uh, but still in spite of all these advances in spite of uh, uh things becoming more and more uh, advanced and uh, uh, refined still like you know sometimes uh, there could be problems uh, in ivf uh, uh, procedures also so though uh, the complications are not very common it can happen in less than say like 2% of uh, cases but it is worthwhile discussing about the complications because it is important for the couple to know as to what can happen in a worse situation and what to uh, expect and how to deal with it and whether they are ready to face these kind of complications so uh, let us talk about complication which happens during uh, ivf so sometimes uh, because of the hormonal injections that we give the patients will be allergic to it they can develop rashes they can develop severe uh, reactions for uh, the injections but uh, the severity and also the incidence of this kind of uh, allergic reactions have come down drastically because of the method by which the in- injections are manufactured and because now recombinant uh, medications are available which reduces the incidence of these allergies so second thing is when these hormones are given at a higher dose or uh, if the patient responds uh, too much for the normal dosage then there could be problems called as uh, OHSs that is ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome so wherein the number of follicles will be too many and the size of the ovary will be too big and this can cause uh, say like pain abdomen it can cause uh, twisting of the ovary it can cause uh, uh, multiple other uh, problems which uh, could be like bloating fluid in the abdominal cavity there could be fluid which is collected around the lungs fluid around the heart of the mother and uh, this can lead to difficulty in breathing this can lead to uh, severe pain this can lead to even like uh, uh, problems uh, which can end up the patient in a icu st- setup so it is extremely important to look out and to be cautious when uh, we are stimulating polycystic ovarian uh, uh, disease patients which uh, uh, is uh, i think uh, more prone for uh, ohss and uh, we need to make sure that the patient understands this and uh, the uh, the solution for this is by uh, doing a frozen embryo transfer and not doing the transfer in that cycle so the other complication could be multiple pregnancies which can result uh, in an ivf where it could be twins triplets quadruplets pentaplets so the pregnancy depends on the number of uh, embryos that we transfer so if we uh, do a single embryo transfer most of the times it will be a single pregnancy if we do uh, multiple embryos uh, transfer then it will be multiple pregnancies so it is not like the more the better it is uh, uh, it is about the safety of the pregnancy and humans are designed or human uh, women's body is designed to carry a single pregnancy with that most uh, safety so when there are multiple pregnancies then obviously there will be more uh, stretching of the uterus there could be uh, problems like increased risk of uh, blood pressure developing in the mother increased uh, chances of diabetes increased chances of uh, growth uh, problems to the baby and increased chances of premature delivery so all these things we'll have to consider when uh, uh, the patient undergoes ivf and they should be ready to deal with the financial and also the emotional aspect of uh, uh, the uh, multiple pregnancies if at all if uh, uh, they uh, they uh, decide and opt to continue the multiple pregnancies and are open to get m- multiple embryos transferred so apart from these uh, the other complications could be uh, um, this will be like very uh, uh, mild 
uh, the pain which could be on and off there could be weight gain there could be hair fall there could be headache there could be nausea there could be vomiting sometimes and uh, opposed uh, ivf uh, sometimes very rarely if at all if the pickup is not done uh, in the utmost uh, sterile uh, conditions then it can result in abscess and if there is ovarian cyst and if we puncture that ovarian cyst then there could be problems and during the pickup if the pickup is not done by an expert then there could be bleeding into the peritoneal cavity where the woman had to be uh, done a laparoscopy to seal off that uh, uh, the punctured uh, site of the ovary and sometimes there could be damage to the blood vessels inside the tummy but i think uh, nowadays all the medical professionals and fertility specialists are well trained and these kind of complications are uh, quite less so uh, I think uh, this about uh, sums up about the complications if there is uh, any doubt you can uh, contact us thank you for watching